substitutions. Taking a look at the Lakers. Marks is out there with Kent Bazemore. And it's Clutch. Then it's Paul George. And it's Powers. And it's the two guard. Cans it from downtown. Graham's got the lead up to 12 now for the Hornets. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flames. Oh, yeah, that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with a comfortable lead. Baysmore against Barnes. Baysmore gets the bucket. 59 seconds left in the third. Pass to Rogier. Harris looking it over. Here's Graham. Sims with the rebound. That works just like they drew it up until the part where he short arms to the layup. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Here's Graham. Marks grabs the board. Marks has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Powers the pass to Sims. There's 18 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Powers. No good that time. Everything looked good until the finish. It all goes wrong. Graham with the bucket. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. But, but it had to be these days. You need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. And so it's Charlotte looking at a 13-point lead. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. But it's also called making a good read, understanding where everyone is taking full advantage. Fantastic. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. We've got Rozier. Harrison Barnes is out there with Tobias Harris. And it's Graham in at the point. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. Harris trying to get free. Count that one. Rozier's got the first pass to get going in the fourth for Charlotte. Lakers trail by 15. Sims the pass to George. James the bounce pass. Here's Sims. Cram defending. Pass to Bazemore. From deep, James. And the Lakers get it back. Yeah, just nice hustle there. That work gets them the extra possession. The shot by Sims, no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And the pass to by Rozier. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Uh, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove this amount. Timeout called the Lakers. And one of those little spark plug guys. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Rogier the pass to Harris. And the NBA 2K League, see, we have the first eSport operated by a U.S. pro sport. And it's quickly growing. Do you throw down on the, on the sticks? Yeah, just a little announcement to all the GMs in the 2K League. I am available. I'm a free agent. I'm ready to go. I'm nice on the sticks. I can play career mode, team mode, one-on-one -on -one mode. Whatever you need from me, I am ready to go. But I love it, man. It's great to see people who love this game, whether it's virtual or real life. It, it, it's hoops, baby. So much fun. Hornets leading by 19. Passes to Bridges. The pass to Washington. Clock at six. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. Hulkins. He is hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got nine rebounds now tonight. It's Powell on the wing. To the middle. 
gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5-for-8 clip. And the way James dominates on the offensive end, making it look effortless tonight. Pass to Alkins. Here's Bridges, guarded by Powell. Here's Alkins. Pass to Washington. Harris inside, covered by LeBron. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. So a whole new group on the floor now for Charlotte. Lakers trailed by 17. 30 left in the game. Tough blow to the team here with this one, Hornet. It looks like this injury is going to keep him sidelined for a significant amount of time. I hate. Yeah.
Started, I want to introduce you to a special guest, Magic Johnson. He'll be here observing with the coaching staff today, so let's put in a strong effort and show him how we do things around here. We're going to work on putting the ball in the basket today. After all, that's the primary objective of this game. Get over to your stations. It's going to be a lot of shooting drills today. You got it. You got it. Come on. I see you. I see you. Let's go! 
Get everyone over here and get started. Here's what we're gonna do.
next one. From home, so I'm here, right? One, two, cross. One, two, cross. One, two, cross. Oh, you slow, cross. Well, we might have to get you in the beginner's lesson. Heads up, heads up, in the whole time. Then we.
This is Hank and the Hornet on 98.9 The Flex, the official home of your Los Angeles Lakers. Get him or get stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Up next, the Bucks taking on the, the 2K Sports pregame show. And the pregame... Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony. And here's what it looks like for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Thursday, they'll be taking on Victor Oladipo and the Los Angeles Clippers. And then on Saturday, they'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. And when you look at that pace, it's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. Here are the start. Good substitution here for the Lakers. Jamichael Green, he's checked in for Marks. Ken Bazemore comes in for James. Paul George, he's checked in for Norman Powell. And it's clutch in for Yogi Ferrell. Waiters. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Brent, so many state-of-the-art arenas being built. Which feature do you think is most important? Oh, the hot dog machine. Uh, what are we doing? Right? Popcorn. What and the popcorn. popcorn. What, what else, Kevin? Popcorn. Yeah, you like nachos. I love nachos. Okay. You love nachos. What else? I mean, what else could we go with there? Ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah, That's right? a big one. Because when you're done with all that other stuff, you've got to somehow yep. coat your stomach. Yep. You Is this basketball-related, or do we go somewhere else? All a part of the whole conversation. I think we covered it. And so the ball out of bounds, Davis touched it last. One twenty-four left in the first quarter. From deep, Thomas. No good that time. And the Lakers take it the other way. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, I did speak with Mike Budenholzer for a few minutes. He said the key defensively is keeping Anthony Davis away from the rim, adding he's a knockdown shooter, but you can't take away everything. Kevin, we'll see if they can somehow roll him off. Okay, David, much appreciated. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Sims. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Over Bledsoe. Rebound by Williams. And, and I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. No, he, he should know better. He knows that's not his game, which is why we don't see him take that shot off. Of Setting the floor for the Bucks. He's got Williams. Read out there with Jabari Parker. Then there's Bledsoe. And it's DiVincenzo in at the two spot. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. So it's Milwaukee now. Los Angeles has gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter, only hitting one of five attempts. And Brent, when you watch Eric Bledsoe go to the rim, you just have to admire what an incredible finisher he is. Well, Bledsoe, I think, has always relied on the fact that his physical stature, not in terms of his height at 6'1", but his width and strength allows him to go in there and be a bit of a bulldog to get contact and to make things happen. So never has shied away from that gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right, and that's severe punishment right there. And how about the sequence in its entirety? Momentum swing, and you love the effort here. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. No question, he got bumped on that shot. For Los Angeles, they have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. And really, the form at the line all season has been terrific. 79% as a team. Davis has checked in for Jermichael Green. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Parker trying to free himself up. Shot's good by Bloodsoe. 
Well, he might be six foot one, but Eric Bledsoe is fantastic with different kinds of finishes around the rim. Powell finds Davis. Back to Powell, launches it. The three pointer is right on target. Powell's got the game tied up here for Los Angeles. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Bledsoe right side, and Bledsoe with the stuff. Try to prevent Bledsoe from charging inside. Easier said than done. Once he sees the lane, pretty much over for the defense. Here's Sims, trying to get open as Davis, and a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Sims has got his first two points of the night. They have a chance to go two for one here. Let's see how they play the clock. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's Bledsoe. No good. And the Lakers take it the other way. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. When they ran the offense, they found some easy shots. But on that occasion, it was few and far between. Yeah, lots of ups and downs. One good possession, two bad ones, one good one. They could never get on a steady run and play some solid offense. Here's Parker. Great D that time from Davis. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the end yeah. one, and this time, they're not backing off. Just four seconds left in the first half of basketball. Williams inside the line, and the last second attempt doesn't fall. And that'll do it for the first half, a competitive game so far. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a quick one as well. The team's deciding to change it up. And Brent, with the court of three being such a popular shot, should we consider widening the court, making it all feel the same? That's an interesting question, Kevin. There's been some talk uh, around the idea of actually dissipating that three-point line into the sideline. Yes. I really just wanted to say dissipating, by the way. <laughs> well, and you said the, it well. The other thing, Kevin, that has been considered, what if we went back to skinning up the lane line, back to the original George Mikan days, of the lane being six feet wide rather than what we see today at 12 feet, that would put a ton more value on post up and two point play. Almost so much as the three point shot and the two point shot in the post equate to the same amount of points per possession. Yeah, they've got Kent Bazemore. He's out there with Anthony Davis. Clutch out there with Paul George. And it's red in at the two. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Here's Sims. And a miss there on the triple. Bucks trailed by five. Here's Thomas. It doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from George. Here's Sims. And again, no good by the Lakers. Well, his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. And some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Bledsoe. And, and guys, I think the best way to measure his performance these last 10 games is his effective field goal percentage, which has improved a sign that his game is in much better shape than it was not too long ago. And really, it's hard to guard a guy like Bazemore because of how high he can get up. His athleticism is just boundless. He's off on the second. Bucks trail by four. Here's Waiters. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, Deion Waiters, the epitome of a player that can shoot you in or out of a game. Very uh, hit or miss night to night. Yeah, the thing about Deion is he's got a very short memory, Kevin, so he'll continue to fire it up there and try to make an impact in the game offensively. You're either on Waiters Island where it's full of life on nights where he's hitting it, 
or it's completely deserted, and there's no point in going. And here's Thomas, who brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Trailing by two. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. That'll be the third game of this three-game road trip. Nice job there from George Hill setting up. He's an effective three-point shooter. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game time. Raiders against George. We've got 13 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Davis kicks to Sims. Five on the clock. And that one falls coming off of Davis' feed. Davis has got four assists now tonight. Sharing the basketball, Anthony Davis can't do more than just score. Such an all-around special threat. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game so far. Lakers ahead, up by one. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up and that cut was wide open. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter of what is still anybody's ball game. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. Williams is out there with Parker. Then there's Deion Waiters. Then it's George Hill. And it's Thomas in at the point. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Yeah, clutch play there. Fourth quarter now, we're about a minute and a half in. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. Parker getting more comfortable in his early stages of his career with drawing contact on the inside. The first one falls. He's perfect from the line this time. Lakers trailed by six. Pass to Sims over Bledsoe. The shot's good from Sims. Yeah, the big man, the brow, finding a teammate and does a great job of seeing somebody that's uncovered. To the inside. And it's Williams finishing it off. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Outside, Davis. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Milwaukee leading by six. Parker passes to Bledsoe. Even Genzo. That one doesn't drop. Good D by LeBron. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Powell with it. Eric Bledsoe covering. Powell kicks to LeBron. Pass to Sims. Launches a three. Good, and the assist goes to James. James has got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Down low, here's Hill. Lays it up and banks it in. Well, Hill feeling at ease, and that was a huge one. For Los Angeles, they've gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. One of nine. A shot by Sims, no good. Bucks have gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. And the basket by Hill. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Timeout called the Lakers. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Jabari Parker. And he's provided them with a major mismatch on that low block tonight that they've been able to lean on his scoring in the paint. And if nothing else has worked, he, he's given them a reliable option on every possession. If he can only contribute like this for them every night, you can't overstate how much better it makes this team when he has a game like this. And on the road, no less. Yeah, how about 
about Parker weaving his way through the defense, but being aggressive and strong in attacking the rim. And the second of two is good. That stretches their lead to eight. Time running out for the Lakers. Powell with it. Now the pass to Sims. Over Marzo. Trying to get over to Davis. And the Lakers with another miss. Well, after an impressive first half, he's just not been able to get the room or get anything going here in the second. Powell against Bledsoe. Six on the shot clock. Will not go. This is off the front eye. LA's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. LeBron James, one of the best ever to do it. Free throw good, LeBron. 102 left to play here on the fourth. Now, Parker. And the dunk by Parker. Parker getting better and better at running knees. He keeps the D guessing. That's a huge advantage for the offensive player. Dishes it to Sims. Over Bledsoe. Excellent D there from Bledsoe. It's almost... It's like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down. Try to get some easy ones. Read the pass to Williams. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Five to shoot. With the second effort. And the shot goes down. Parker's got the lead up to nine now for the Bucks. If your small forward stays active like Jabari Parker did that time down low, you'll get second chance opportunities. It's good. And so the Bucks take the win. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. It's they show just what a tough-minded group they can be. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Fred Mary, Greg Anthony, and David Olin, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. See you later. Really tough blow to the team here with this one, Hornet. It looks like...